I am so excited for this next game. When I saw this announced in the keynote, I literally screamed. It's a 100-foot robot golf. I'm joined here by Dan. Now, I have to tell you, mm -hmm. the name says it all. I mean, easy sell right there. It's 100-foot robot golf. What's we're, not to love? We're basically done. Like, I'm just here to come up on stage, say, 100-foot <laughs> robots playing golf. I'm out. I'm out. I was, <laughs> I was tweeting about this during the keynote, and I was like, uh, hashtag short girl uh, dreams, mm -hmm. because I am on the shorter <laughs> side, and I want to be tall. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want to be a 100-foot robot? Exactly, and especially since you're, uh, you have all your friends are also 100 foot robots and you can destroy buildings and play golf at the same time. So I, dare I ask, where did this idea come up from? So this is actually the fault of the other half of No Goblin. The Pan. fault, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, Panzer was uh, in a Let's Play for another golf game and it was a really bad golf game. And uh, they, were, they were bored and they were like half an hour in. And like, man, this would be way better if this was just like a huge robot that was like crashing everything. And so uh, she finished the LP and it's like, a couple of days later, it was just pitching me like, we got to do this robot golf game. And I'm just like, this is a I don't think there's anything terrible about this at all. I think this is a fabulous <laughs> idea. I immediately, I saw this and I, I wanted to play, even if it wasn't a VR game, I would still totally play this game. It's incredible. So was the idea of making VR uh, at the onset or was that something that you kind of decided to do as the game went on when you're deciding about it? It's actually uh, something that we, so we showed the original game about VR to Sony. I'm like, hey, here's our dumb idea of 100 foot robots. <laughs> and uh, they came back to us and said, this is fantastic. Uh, have you thought about VR? And at the time, I hadn't uh, touched VR. And so I was one of those people, like, I'm sick of all these people talking about VR and like being these crazy, like, religious VR cult people. Uh, and then I, I tried some VR stuff, uh, and I became one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> now you're one of us. Now, now I'm one of those crazy VR people. Like, you got to try this. you got to try Rez. you got to try Headmaster. you got to try all these games. And so uh, we kind of was like a no-brainer to do 100-foot robot golf for this because you have this intense, intense sense of scale where you're a, you're a 100 foot robot yeah. and you're seeing these tiny people on the ground and planes flying overhead. It's, it's like this really cool fit for uh, PlayStation VR. Yeah, one of the things I love about the PlayStation VR so much, and I, I see this in a lot of the different games and demos that I've played, is they deal a lot with being up high. Like when you're in the rig suit and you're looking down, mm -hmm. you know, even in Playroom, when they start with that, when you're the uh, di dinosaur being like, you know, flown out into space and you're looking down and that sense of, um, almost vertigo makes it so real. And so now you're in a 100-foot robot suit <laughs> looking down on the world, and it just, the, the scope of the game is, um, is, I think, what adds to the, the reality of it. And I love that you are not just on Earth. You can go to the moon and, and shoot golf. So are there different levels that are each different places in the world, or do you kind of progress in um, more of a linear manner? So we, uh, we have a bunch of different modes. We have a, a story mode in the game. Uh, where uh, you're basically living out the lives of 100-foot robot, go ro robot golf pilots, I should say. Uh, and those are told through uh, the cheesiest 90s kind of mecha animation that we can make, kind of like the things you saw at the end of the trailer. That's basically our story mode. So <laughs> you'll go through and see like love stories and intrigue and mystery of all these Ooh. people trying to like lower their handicap. <laughs> and uh, you'll be playing in like cities like these. Uh, we've of course got like the moon that you can play from. And then we've been working on a bunch of other different environments that we'll we'll talk about later. But it's. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> how, how much of it is really golf based? I mean, are there are there are there pars? Where you have to actually get it into the you know are there hole in ones possible? So there's uh, a bunch of different rule sets that you can have, but our main one is all real time. So it's not like you're sitting around waiting for other people to play, and it's first to the hole. Okay. So uh, you're. Uh, you, you kind of have this dilemma of, am I going to go through? Am I going to try and like get my lowest stroke count to the hole? Or am I just going to take like 15 seconds and just push this building in front of this other guy so I can like uh, disadvantage him? So there's a competitive aspect of there where oh, you're absolutely. trying to like, you know, um, block people from getting to the shots just by being a destructive robot. Absolutely, yeah. That's wonderful. I, I love the graphics too. And, and the music that you guys had in the trailer was, was pretty incredible. It's only the, uh, the cheesiest turn of broadcast music that we could license. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we put into Google. We're like, what can I find? I love it. Yeah. And uh, can you customize the robots at all? Uh, absolutely. So we, uh, like we, our last game was uh, Roundabout, which was the spinning limousine game, and we uh, we had full customization of the limo there, with like you put hats on your limo and things like that. And we're we're taking that through here. 
not, in, uh, not in this footage, but in some of the uh, other footage up on the PlayStation YouTube channel, you'll see our first hat, which is actually a PlayStation VR headset you can equip on your robot while they're in PlayStation VR. Nice. Uh, and you can go through and equip clubs and balls, and we have a bunch of, uh, all the pilots have their own uh, personality and abilities as well. So you can, uh, you can really sort of like mix things up a lot. So how many people can play at the same time? Uh, four people can play, uh, either split screen or online. Uh, so uh, you can have, uh, you don't necessarily have to have friends anywhere near you to play this game. <laughs> you don't need friends, you have robots. Yeah, you have ro what more could you need? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so any idea about when anyone's going to be able to get their hands on trying to play this game? So we're coming out in 2016, and that's going to be for PS4 and PlayStation VR. So uh, if, you're, uh, if you're not ready to get on the PSVR bandwagon, you can still play uh, Robot Golf, although I heavily recommend you become one of us crazy yes. people. Join us. Uh, and then hopefully uh, early next year, we'll have people be able to play at uh, conventions and things like that. Wonderful. Well, I hope that we get a chance to sit down at E3 maybe next year then, and I'll get a chance Hopefully. to play through this. Fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed. All right, Dan Tilsdale, thank you so much for joining us. I am super excited about 100 Foot Robot Golf, and I know you guys are too. So stick around. We're going to have a lot more about that. PlayStation.